For more on this, we're going to bring in our very own Mark May. Mark, let's get your opinion. In your mind, what is the best option for Texas A&M at this point? Yeah, I think Texas A&M should stay exactly where they are in the Big 12 Conference. The bottom line is when you look at a football program, that's what drives your athletic program. They make the money. If they go to the SEC, they're going to be at the bottom of the SEC West Conference. And here is the guy that always comes strong, nationally syndicated radio host Paul Feinbaum, once voted the most hated man in the SEC. Better first year in the league, Texas A&M. Missouri. Howdy, Aggieland. Welcome to the SEC. With AJ McCarron coming back. Uh, the lineup that they have on the offensive side of the football is going to be scary, to be honest. What would you think of Alabama last night? Didn't they play in the NFL? Well, and this is the definition of a dynasty now. It's time to go. It's time to draw the line in the sand and say, hey, let's go. It's time to do it. And this is the first step. South Carolina bye weeks before Alabama and LSU. I think the season sets up beautifully for a third straight and unprecedented national game. And they're off the week before they go to AM for the big revenge game. But they had no answer for him in the second half. I mean, Johnny Manziel was simply fantastic. And you gotta think about, I'm looking at 2013. You know, look at their schedule. They have I eight have home schedule games, right here. four away games. This team could be in a position for a national championship. For me, this is Nick Saban. So far, this is his best team. This will prove to be. They will win, I think, their third national championship, third in a row, fourth in the last five years. A BCS championship, that's the hardware he wants to bring back to A&M. It's one of the loudest stadiums in the nation. Just stay, keep, keep your distance. This is the best student section right here in college. What your expectations are right now? Are you viewing yourself and your team as national championship? Do you expect to win a national championship? Are you ready to shut people up? Absolutely, 100%. But right into coverage, and they baited that throw to McCarron. Howard Matthews, it looked like two deep safeties, but they went. September 14th, Alabama. Are you ready to, to say you can beat Alabama at home? Uh, we're ready for the challenge. Start at the end of last week's cut from behind, winning the game against Neal. But am I worried about how you perform against Bama this year? No, I ain't worried. Champion will be in the game. They need help, Alabama does. Left side, Lacey Bayer. And then he's popped up high and uh, falls incomplete. And boy, he really took a pop. <laughs> is September 14th, the Alabama game, September 14th. That is not only Texas A&M's game of the year, it's Alabama's game of the year, it's college football's game of the year. Oh, 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 Alabama oh, oh, comes in here, week three, and September the 14th game. I know you got two games ahead of it, but describe your and your teammates' anticipation for that one. I'm trying to let go of the passion. We make this one a double. You ain't even got to ask. I, because it's hard to say no. Yeah, it's hard to say no. Are you down? Are you down? Yeah, you out of 